Hello traders, this is Des here at Grok Trade. It is Wednesday, June 29th, 2011, and the markets continue northbound. We have the Dow up 0.6%. The S&P closed out today at 0.83% to the upside. NASDAQ up 0.4%, and Russell's small caps down or up 032 but down compared to the other S&P and Dow and NASDAQ. So you do have the NASDAQ and Russell's lagging the broad market, showing relative weakness here. But the banks doing exceptionally well yet again, second day in a row, and having banks being quite high, up 1% plus. VIX down sharply, 10% to the south. We're at 17 now. U.S. dollar down 0.61%, helping the market stay bullish. You have a gold and silver rallying really strong today and a little lag here in transportation index and we had crude oil up sharply at 2.2 percent well it's good to be back thank you miguel for sitting in for me doing the weekend edition and the pre-market and post-market videos last few days and furthermore the v newsletter video newsletter if you want to know what i'm trading for the upcoming week and what our thoughts are on stocks get the video or v newsletter at our website it's only $29.97 a month. It's a steal, and you get this video each week. But anyway, thank you for doing that. And my big apology to everybody this morning for not having a pre-market video out. My bad. I just got back from big training in Vegas where I taught a, a room full of stock and option traders. Fantastic time. And here we are looking at the broad markets. We have the S&P here. We had drop, 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 drop. We rallied up. We had a bear pullback that did drop however we had a huge support line coming up the 200 day rising acting as support and then we pop we get a double bottom a double bottom is now confirmed after today because this swing high has been broken so we have a confirmed double bottom trend reversal heading to the upside now that is quite nice. We busted through this trend line, this green line, resistance, resistance was busted yesterday, Tuesday, popping over the 20 day moving average. We continue to rise higher. If I bring in a lot more data, we stay within this ginormous symmetrical triangle. So we were at the support area, great place to be looking long. If we did get a trend reversal pattern, that's precisely what we have. We have the MACD, Citrus Oscillator, now in bullish territory, rising above the line. But at this moment, we are getting ready to run into the 100-day and the 50-day moving averages, which are have converged onto each other. I do see that area as being a major area of resistance. If I come over here to this swing high, you'll see that not only does this swing not only does the 100 day, this green line, and the 50 come together, I mean, they all come together the exact same spot. Gang 1316 is a huge resistance area. So remain bullish to that point, and then you want to be very careful. So remember 1316 on the bigger time frame. Tomorrow, pre market, we have consumer sentiment or uh, initial claims, my bad, initial claims coming out an hour before markets open. And then we do have a Michigan sentiment read coming out at 9.55 or 25 minutes after the market opens. And the markets will watch that to see what consumer sentiment is up in Michigan. And that could be a telltale sign of what is to come. So there you have it. You get the very best technical analysis right here at Grok Trade. Thank you for being a part and thank you for sharing this with your friends.